might have realized that leading people is difficult and especially staying the leader of a group is difficult. Many, many self-improvement YouTubers taught you how to be the leader, be strong, be masculine, be faithful, give them a goal to work towards. And many self-improvement YouTubers taught you how to become the leader. Today, I'm going to teach you how to stay the leader over a long amount of time and how to do so in a purposeful way and not just say, oh, yeah, let's make this small decision. I'm today going to teach you how to help people make big decisions in your real life and how to help them with leading them and not just lead them for your own basically mental masturbation. The first principle is to know why you are here, to know your purpose. And knowing your purpose is actually pretty easy. You basically think, okay, what decisions would I take if the decisions weren't executed by me? Because for some people, fear isn't an issue or money isn't an issue, but the execution they lack the discipline and they know that they lack the discipline to pull through the decisions they make. Therefore, they never make those decisions of, I'm going to go to the gym because they know that they're going to quit. And if you simply ask yourself, what would I do if a robot executed it for me and then gave me the results from it, what would I do then? And that helped me uncover my purpose. What also can help is journaling who am I? Simply journaling, who am I? And journal especially about the things that people couldn't take away from you. Imagine yourself in the ring. I, I think you know this movie um, where Thor, I think it was Thor 2, where Thor gets thrown on this planet and they has to fight Hulk in the arena. And everything is taken away from him. His hammer is taken away from him. His garment is, put in, is taken away from him. His glory is taken away from him. But he is still Thor. He basically still acts as if he is Thor. So who would you be if everything was taken away from you? And then think, what do I actually want in life if everything was taken away from me? That's the first part of leadership. Because if you don't know why you are here then how can you lead? You can't be a blind leader. You have to be a leader who sees where you're going and then tell the people who are behind you as if you were leading the blind. Where are we going? How does it look where we're going? How is the feeling where we're going? This next thing, which is probably the most important thing on this list, is know why they are here. Now, in a job, you might think, okay, straightforward they're here to make money so let me help them make money but you can't actually do that right you can't in a, in a lot of situations you cannot give people a raise because you are not their boss but what you can do however is help them spend less time or make the time more fun so what's the objective actually for them what's the realistic expectation or what's the realistic wish they have Right? An unrealistic wish would be to just get paid without working at all. <laughs> but the realistic wish is to make work as fun as possible and to not make it this dreadful thing. So know the purpose of the people who you are trying to lead in the moment you're trying to lead them. Because of course, you cannot find out the purpose of 400 people. Because discovering your purpose involves knowing the deep dark truth about yourself and not everyone is willing to tell you that so know why they are with you where you are right now if you're a youtuber like me for example i know that you are here to improve yourself so i will only give you the tips to help you improve yourself i won't tell a long story i won't try to get you hooked i won't tell you to subscribe and to like the video um because I know that you are here because you want to improve myself and not because you want to support me. <laughs> if you want to support with this message, go down and subscribe to this channel. Just know why the people around you are where they are. 
and you will become their leader. Because if you can give them exactly that, trust me, they're going to listen to you. They're going to not ignore you. If you have something they want, they are going to be below you. <laughs> you are going to sell to them. Because think about your math teacher in school. He led you through math. He was the leader in math. Even though you hated that guy. You hated him. He wasn't masculine. He was some little soy boy, skinny fat bitch who you could have smacked. But he had what you wanted, which was a degree or, I don't know, a high school diploma or whatever. He had what you wanted, which was good grades. And therefore, you let this unmasculine guy lead you. So the real essence of leadership isn't masculinity. It's having what other people want. And that is either the knowledge of what they want, which most people don't even have that. So you have to even think for them. And if you can do that, I promise you're going to lead more people than anyone. Think about the great leaders. They all knew what the people below them wanted. Joshua, who led the people um, into battle when they, went, when they crossed the Jordan in the Bible after numbers, he basically led them there because he knew what they wanted. He knew they wanted to quit and he told them, be strong and of good courage right? He knew what they wanted and then gave them a new thing. And that's also what you can do, which brings me right into my next point. You can, of course, also change this and you should change this. You should change what they want to their best, want, to, to their best wish. So make a customer character for the people who you're trying to lead. Write down what exactly the character traits of the people you want to lead should be. Because if you can single out the people you want to lead, then the people you want to lead will be led way easier. You will have less complaints, more effect on target, and a better sort of sleep at night, if you know what I mean, right? You won't have to have to sell you won't have to hard sell people what you want to do with them because they are the people you want to lead and you know them exactly. So what you're going to do is you're going to get out a piece of paper and write down on there, okay, the people I'm trying to lead are in this environment and this is what I think they want right now. And what you need to give them is you need to give them what they want to want. So don't give them the cookie if they want the cookie. Give them the apple. Because they want the cookie. But what they really want to want is the healthy choice, right? They, they will try to convince themselves, I want this apple. I want the apple instead of the cookie crumble. And if you can give them what they want to want with less effort and less friction, you are their king. Again, back to the Bible. Joshua knew they wanted to quit. They wanted to quit right now. But they wanted to want to conquer the whole Canaan. Right? They wanted to conquer Canaan. And therefore, that's exactly what he gave them. He gave them what they wanted to want and exceeded their wishes. And that's exactly what you need to discover. You need to discover, okay, they want, I don't know, in a, in, a, in a school frame, they want to have fun, but what they truly want is get out of school as fast as possible. Or, I don't know, um, things they want to do in school, right? I don't know what they want to do in school. <laughs> Fuck school. <laughs> uh, but you need to essentially know the wish below the wish, the wish to wish. It's kind of difficult to explain this and I hope you understood it, but you have to give them what they want to want. So if someone tells you, I want the cookie, but you know they're on a diet, give them the apple because that's what they want to want. What they want to want, right? What they want is the cookie. But they, what, what they want to want is you 
tell them, I don't have cookies, here's an apple. And they're like, oh no, I have to eat an apple. Mm. But deep inside, this is deep human psychology, so I don't expect each and every single one to understand this, but they really want to eat the apple. But they tell you, I want to eat the cookie because of difficult childhood traumas or, or they just don't want to stick out. They don't want to make, they don't want to make a hustle for you. But if you show them, it's actually easier for me to provide you with what you want to want to provide you with the apple. They're going to love you because they're going to see, oh, this guy is on my team. He's on my side. And if you then pair that with knowing where, like what they want, right? What they, where, where they want to go, then you just need to tell them, hey, this is how you get there. And boom, you become a leader. This is exactly what self-improvement YouTubers do. I know why you are here. I know that you want to click off, but because I'm first of all too foul to edit, and it's more convenient for me to provide you with the thing you want to want. I provide you with these very uncut, low cut sort of videos that maybe have one or two cuts in them. And that's the same analogy as with the Apple. You may want the over edited Iman Gaji video, but you truly want to want the video that hasn't many cuts, that is filmed in real nature. Right? Look at this. This is all filmed in real nature. And if this is really what you want to want, I would be very excited for a comment. I always love to read and answer comments. So if you really want to make my day, just write a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm currently aiming to hit one subscriber a day. Now master your mind, have a nice day and lead the people into conquest and into a better life. Trust God because Jesus loves you.